Get your bubbles ready. We are making UV resin bubbles today. One of my very favorite techniques. You need UV resin, spatula ornaments, UV resin light, and then you need soap, a soapy mixture. And this is just, um, this is just water and dish soap in a jar and then a straw to blow the bubbles. So when you shake up the bubbles in the jar, you're gonna end up with smaller bubbles and that's fine, but it just depends on the end result that you want. And you only want the bubbles. You don't want the, you know how sometimes soap bubbles kind of get watery at the bottom. So if you blow bigger bubbles, you're obviously gonna get a different look than the smaller bubbles on your finished product. You'll want to wear gloves and then pop the little end cap off of the, those ornaments. I'm using Let's Resin, which is a, um, it's a high viscosity UV resin that's a little bit thicker, which is great because then you can spread it really easily with a little silicone spatula and you don't have drips everywhere like a thinner resin. So I do have links in the description below to the UV resin on Amazon and also the UV resin curing light from Let's Resin that I'm using. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so when you use my links to make a purchase, I do get a small commission, so thank you very much. Um, you, can, you can use your finger, a gloved finger, to spread the resin also but I just like using the little silicone spatula because honestly, I hate wearing gloves. Once you have a layer of UV resin on your ornament, it's time for bubbles. And it doesn't matter how you get the bubbles on your ornament, just get them on there. And I seem to not be very good at this, honestly. I've tried scooping it with a spoon. I've tried scooping it with my hand. And honestly, it's just easier just to blow the bubbles straight out of the jar and let them fall over the ornament, however way it falls. And what happens when you pop it under the UV resin curing lamp, the UV resin is going to take the shape of the bubble. And then when it's fully cured and you wipe the bubbles off, you will see this really cool pebbly pebbly texture some people call it the dragon scale method i don't really like to call it that i'm just going to call it mermaid scales instead of dragon scale it's really cool let the uv resin lamp do its thing you don't want it to be sticky well, these are still a little bit sticky so i'm not going to finish these yet i'm going to let them cure a little bit more as the UV resin cures, sometimes you can end up with little sharp points. That's one of the downsides to this method, but just take some sandpaper. I'm using 320 grit sandpaper and gently sand down those rough edges. I'm not sanding the whole ornament. I'm just sanding it, sanding down the rough edges. That's just it. I'm going to get these little really rough spots off. I'm thinking mica powder. Gosh, I am almost out of this aqua and I need to buy some more. And I hate to use all this up, but I just keep forgetting to buy it. I guess I'm hoping the magic fairy, the magic mica powder fairy will come and bring me some. Um, this is from Sesso. It's my favorite color and that's why I have so little of it because I use it a lot, but it's aqua. Um, I do have a link in the description below on Amazon. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so if you use my links to make any purchase at all using the link, I get a small commission, so thank you in advance. So look at what it does to the UV resin bubbles. Look at that. Now, do you see why I love this mica powder so much. It's almost, it almost acts like a chameleon. But there's a, shades of blue in there, but definite shades of aqua and green. The smaller the bubbles, the smaller, obviously, the UV resin bubbles will be. And then the bigger ones, you see how gorgeous they are. So I'm just going to rub some in. And then I'm really not going to do that much more to these. I'm not sure yet. Honestly, I just wanted to see what, what the UV resin bubble method would, would do. 
and what kind of look I could get. And I tell you, this stuff goes everywhere, doesn't it? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. You could honestly finish this with any color you want. It doesn't have to be aqua. It doesn't even have to be mica powder. I think you could probably, oh, maybe paint. I have no idea. And I really love that. What about paint? Would that work? I don't know. Let me wipe this off. I don't know. Maybe it would. Um, I really like this Nocon Blue. This is from Eye Candy. And I also have a link to this from Amazon. This is a gorgeous color. Very dreamy. Oh, now gold. Well, wait till you see the gold. The gold is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. And the white, this is silver white. Oh, this, the gold was a Sesso also. This, um, the silver white is from Sesso. And it is gorgeous. I know I'm getting mica powder all over these, but they all blend. Look at that. Oh my God. It just goes everywhere. I think I'm gonna turn my fan off. Yeah. Look at that. 
I just love this one. That's so pretty. I'm going to do one more white one. And I think I want blue on the bottom of this one. Oh, just blows it all off. Okay. Dust that a little bit. I think I think what I'm gonna do some of these I have some blank areas like right there this one has a blank area there what I wanted to do is put some mermaid trash on these instead of on the bottom like I have in the past I'm gonna put the mermaid trash on the on the side and then I'm gonna add some little baubles right there see how it's kind of blank there's not really a, an area of UV there and I'm gonna use my Allen's clear tacky glue this is my mermaid trash and I do offer this for sale on my Etsy shop now you get eight ounces I mail it to you for free but this is what it looks like it's sand it's crushed glass it's glitter it's little bitty shells and it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is how much you get. Okay. It is eight ounces. Look at these little shells, little tiny shells, crushed glass, glitter. I put this together myself and this is what you get. But I do have a video in, I do have a video on my channel where I show you how you can make this. It's not difficult to make it, but if you don't have access to the materials, you can absolutely buy it from me in my Etsy shop, okay? All right, so I'm gonna use the clear tacky glue, and I'm gonna show you my method for putting the mermaid trash on. This is the easiest method that I have found. So let's pick a good spot. I think right here. So I'm going to squirt a really good size, probably about the size of maybe a quarter. Okay. And then I'm going to take my mermaid trash and my bobble and I'm going to squish it in the mermaid trash. Just like that. And what it does, it flattens out the glue, and then you have a perfect area of mermaid trash. And then I'm just gonna just like that, and then go on to the next one. And if you don't want very much, well, just don't put very much glue down. And so it kind of squishes it squishes it around, squishes the glue, it spreads the glue, and then you just, that way you don't have to rub it with your finger, spread it with a spatula, whatever. You just kind of spread the glue around like that, and then just squish it down. And I have found this is a lot easier than trying to sprinkle the mermaid trash on. You have a lot less waste this way. I just love this stuff. It's so pretty.
to this one, I want to just maybe just dot it. I don't know. I'm just thinking something different. I look weird. I don't know. Just something different. Thinking outside the box. Okay, move this one more. Forgot about this one. All right, I got a big blank spot right there where I have no UV resin bubbles at all. These are nice and dry. I think what I'm going to use is um, UV resin to attach some little charms on it. I love this one so good. So I like to have a variety in my booth. I'm going to use little charms. I have some starfish that I got on Amazon. I have a link to this in the description below. And then also oh, my favorite little um, starfish and sea turtle charms. going to grab a handful. I did want to use, oh, this one's got a little loop on it with this one. Instead of cutting that loop off like I normally do, let me show you on this one. Look at these pearls that I got on Amazon. Oh my god, I absolutely love them. I think I'm going to start putting this in my mermaid trash that I sell on my Etsy, um, but I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find a bulk supplier for, for the smaller charm, well, not charms, these are pearls. Um, I don't want the big pearls in my mermaid trash. I want the smaller ones. I don't know which size to use. I'm thinking of the smaller one. I want to put it in where that little loop is because this is a charm that goes on a bracelet or a necklace or whatever. So I think a dot of UV resin first. right on that loop and I'm going to drop pearl on there. I hope it doesn't fall. Okay and then I'm just going to flash cure it real quick just to get it set on there. Okay. And now I'm going to put some on this charm just to get the charm kind of stuck on there. And I need a turtle. I think I need a turtle on it too, like right there. And so what I'm doing, I'm, I'm using the UV resin as a glue. That worked. Basically, you put the UV resin on top of the charm, and it's going to bond the charm to the ornament. That's exactly what I wanted here. That's, that's really cute. I like that. So on this one, I'm just going to put, oh, I have another one. 
it's a different one, but I don't want to use that. I want to use a white turtle. I need a small turtle. Okay, I'm going to use that one. All right there. Really? Okay, I got an idea. So it'll stay put. Uh oh, it's upside down. It's okay. Stay put. Okay. This one I am going to snip off and I'm just going to, I'm using some wire cutters and I'm just snipping one side first, pull it over, snip off the other side. That's it. And I'm just going to glue that one right there. I'm going to do one at a time. I think I'm just going to put one on this one. What about this one? Okay, let's put a starfish on there. Right there. And then a little starfish. I'm putting extra resin on this starfish because it is, it can be fragile, and so I want to put extra. Are we going to call this a whale tail or a mermaid tail? I think this is a mermaid tail, and it needs to go right there on the mermaid trash.
See, this one is sticking out and it's probably going to break. Oh, man. I wonder if I could... Actually, you know, the resin really added some strength to it. I think maybe it's okay. Maybe, maybe I could just boost it up a little bit. Add another starfish underneath it, and that's going to support his little leg there. Okay. I have three left. Oh, no, I got one left, two left. This, I need to add, a, I need to add something else there. Should I give him a little crab friend? A little crabby friend? Let's do that. Mr. Crabs. Oh, come on. Baby turtle. Let's do that. Right there. I think one side is flat. Yeah, one side is flat. So I think I'm going to put a little bit, kind of anchor him down. There we go. This one, I don't know what to do. There's not much mermaid trash on it at all. Um, maybe just a big starfish. Just snip off the ends, the little loop. And this snips off pretty flush with the charm itself. And I can just stick it right there. Perfect. All right, so the last step, because these have mica powder, see how the mica powder is coming off on my hands? I need to seal this, these. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take them outside and just spray them with um, just some clear, clear spray. It's clear spray paint. And this is from Krylon. You can buy this at Ace Hardware, any big box store. All right, I'm going to take these outside and just give them a quick spray off camera. You don't need to see that. That's boring stuff. Okay, nice and dry. Seals in the mica powder. And it kind of brings the shine back a little bit. This is probably one of the few times that I will not finish with a top coat of resin. Because I just don't think you need it. 
I think they're fine like it is. It's more of a matte finish. It's not a really shiny, you know, shiny finish. But it's fine. I don't need to use resin for everything. Look how cute this one is. Oh my goodness. I love that one. That's going to work out fine. Cute. So the only thing I need to do is just add some raffia to hang. That was a that was a fun project. That was a really fun project. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. Let's see. And let me know if you're going to give this a try. If you do decide to try it, send me a picture. My email link is in the description. Or no, it's not in the description. It is actually in my channel profile. So you can send me a picture. Thanks for watching and make it a crafty day, friends. Bye.